we're gonna make rosemary cheese. It's, it's really easy, but it's a really elegant uh, dip you can make. Uh, it's a great spread. Hello everyone, and thank you for coming to the uh, first of our series of entertaining. Uh, I'm gonna show you products that are in our store. My name is Mark Cockrell, and I'm the manager of retail services. I wanna show you how you can use the products that we sell in the store, uh, how you can use them for entertaining, making really good food, really easy uh, recipes. Uh, so let's get started. We're gonna use um, cloister honey that we sell in the store. They're from Charlotte. Then we're gonna use this award-winning jelly uh, jam from Sally's Greatest. She was listed as one of Oprah's favorite things. And it was also um, in Garden and Gun and won an award with Garden and Gun Magazine. So really good products here. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, you want four ounces of goat cheese. You want eight ounces of softened cream cheese. So I've got these nice and soft right now to make it easy to spread. Sort of get them mixed up. You want to add one teaspoon of cracked pepper. I love pepper. More pepper, the better. So it's to your taste, but the recipe calls for uh, one teaspoon of cracked pepper. Uh, next, we're going to use some honey. Some of this really good cloister honey. It calls for two teaspoons. So I'm just going to squeeze some in here. And to this, we're going to add rosemary. Just turn it this way, grab it from the tip, and you strip it. And it just comes right off like that. It's so easy. And what's so cool about rosemary stems, you can use them also for skewers. They're really fragrant and aromatic, so these make great skewers for the, uh, for the grill. Just you just want to chop up some of your rosemary. And I've already got some chopped up here. But you just want to rough cut it because you want to show big old hunks of rosemary in your recipe. And those are all your ingredients. So just give it a really good mix. Once you get it mixed up really well, boy, that rosemary smells so good. Ball it up. Put it on your saran wrap. Wrap it. And you'll want to put it in the refrigerator for a few hours or overnight would even be better to let all those great flavors. So once you have your cheese ready, it's marinated for a few hours or overnight would be ideal. Um, find your nice little tray. It's nice to get some extra cheese uh, of a different color. Get some grapes and you are good to go. This is the easiest entertaining, but it is so good. So what I would do, instead of just leaving it like a little ball there, I would sort of whip it up a little bit. You can mound it around. Is you take your Sally's Greatest Fig Sweet Onion Rosemary Jam, and you stir it up really good, and you just slather it on top. And I'm telling you folks, this is the real deal. This is so good. You've got that nice savory rosemary with the cracked black pepper. And you want to use maybe uh, three quarters of a cup of the, uh, of the jar of jelly. And doesn't that make a pretty presentation? So you are good to go for entertaining. You know you've got those folks coming over. And this is the easiest thing to do. Uh, you could do this the day before for the cheese. Buy, buy some cheese and cut it up, a bag of grapes. I tie it in with the rosemary here, just to tie in the theme of rosemary today. And um, that's it. So I'm really glad y'all could join us today and I hope you'll join us next time also, where we'll be making blueberry mojitos.